here's a few alternate voicings for that last chord progression I gave you, and here it goes. <laughs> Just playing, starting on the D, instead of barring the whole fret, like I showed you in the other series. I'm just taking the D, the G, the B, and the F sharp. And just playing those notes. All I'm doing is hammering on, like I showed you before. And all it is is this. You're hammering on from the E to the D to the B. from that E minor 9 to a D triad starting on that D but adding the D at the top also and if you're advanced you should know that D major is relative to B minor which is why this chord progression fits over the other one so once again then for a little added in extra note, I'm barring the last three strings, three, I mean the last three notes of the octave uh, bar, E, B, and G, just for a little passing ghost note type of thing. So here it goes. Got that? Triad. C, E, G. Starting on the D string. So here it is. All I'm doing right there is just adding in a little, you know, a quartet lick or whatever. Um, this is how you do that. All you're doing is going from G to A, B, A, and back to G again. Hold on. Let me reiterate on that last chord. Um, that C major uh, triad chord. Um, all you're doing is you're gonna play the chord first, and then do the lick. Then come back with the chord. So take a look. down on the chord. 